Yo, this is Jay Sully from Wildin' Out, Loving Hip Hop and Hollywood Unlocked, and you're with Always Relevant TV. So stay here so you can be relevant. Get it? Always relevant. Bye. Hey y'all, this is China with Always Relevant TV, and this is a very exciting day. I'm here with Stockton's own Jason Lee. How are you feeling after this amazing night? I'm feeling great. I mean, I'm back home. I'm talking to people who uh, came out to support me, and it, you know, it feels good to come back to hometown. And I know that you were out earlier at Edison High School and you talked to some survivors. How was the experience just talking to the youth? Because you're just always so positive. And just tell me about that experience earlier. Yeah, man. I believe, again, that, like I said, people need to reinvest in these youth because, you know, the kids like me, like you, when you were a kid, have a dream and want to become something. And I really feel like if this community becomes the water to those seeds that have been planted, they truly can become the greatest whatever they want to be in the world. And it's so important because you always use your platform to shout out Stockton. And I see on Hollywood Unlock, you bring people from Stockton. Like you had Damien on there, him 500, Haiti Baby. What is next for, for you and just Hollywood Unlock? Because you're always doing something. Oh, my God. This year, this year I have a big project coming out that I cannot talk about yet. But I will say this. It is literally the reason why I started my brand and it is going to be the validation of all the hard work and the journey to get here. So I'm excited about that. And I'm excited to continue to tour the country and hopefully the world telling my story. Okay. And your story, you laid so much out in your book. What is the one piece of information that you want the readers to grab to really just know more about Jason Lee? Yeah, I want people who feel like they've been a victim of abuse to understand that if they're still standing, they're a survivor. And as a survivor, you truly have to be proud of the fact that you've made it through that far. But if you still have work to do, it's okay to do it, whether it's with yourself or getting professional help. And that being a survivor doesn't make you weak. It actually it makes you strong. And, and I think that when people read my story, they're going to get that. Okay, so being a survivor, it's all strength. And how do you just keep the faith? You've been through so much, but you still have a positive attitude and you just give so much to others. I mean, I'm not perfect. I don't, I mean, I, Kelvin, who works for me, would tell you I ain't always got a positive attitude. You know, I'm human. Um, I think that I try to do my best to, to stay focused on what my visions are, and I work hard to bring them to life. And then lastly, I just want to ask you, I, you know, everybody talks about Hollywood, but you have a, a circle around you. We've seen Tiffany Haddish and Cardi B. How is it just important, like, being authentic and having those real relationships? You know, I don't see them as celebrities. I see them as friends. And I, I truly value their relationships. And I value the relationships because of what you saw tonight. Tiffany buying out a theater so people in Stockton don't have to pay money to see her movie. Cardi B buying a book to make sure that everybody here can read my story. That's what friends do. Now, they are celebrities, but that, that wasn't the celebrity tonight. Those were friends. All right, y'all. So his book is out tomorrow. All the AKs, we will be supporting you on our Founders Day. Get his book, period. And y'all just make sure y'all stay tuned. We got more coming up. Period.